Hey, what's going on guys? Galactic Gamer here coming at you with an updated video of all the best perks to use for all the counselors in Friday the 13th game. So let's go ahead and kick it off with Vanessa. And this is all my opinion. So if you have different perks you'd like to use, just let me know. Um, and I'm glad to give feedback to anybody who has any questions. But let's go ahead and kick it off. Now with Vanessa, I use low profile, marathon, and spatial awareness. That way, if you want to try and avoid Jason's sensibility, low profile will give you that chance since Vanessa doesn't have a whole lot of stealth. Now, you could definitely change this up depending on how you want to play. Like, if you want another stamina perk, you want to maybe comp perk that's more suited for some composure. You could always do that, but I like running low profile that way. If I want to try and avoid him, I can. Uh, marathon, just for the fact that gives her a little more stamina, she can run a little longer, um, which is always good, even though she's already got nine. So, And then spatial wear stumbling. I mean, she doesn't stumble a whole lot, but even w with this spatial awareness perk on, she'll have even less chance, which is always great. Now, Deborah, I use low profile, night owl, and marathon. Low profile, like she's already got nine out of 10 stealth, that's great, but with low profile, it gives her even a better chance to avoid Jason's sensibility. And then, since she doesn't have a really good composure, I give her Night Owl. That way she has some fear resistance to the dark. And then, she has terrible stamina, so I give her Marathon. That way she can, you know, run a little longer. She got a little more stamina to her, which seems to be working out so far. Tiffany, I use Marathon. That way, you know, she can run little farther even though she does have 9 out of 10 stealth I feel like um, having a little more stamina is still better um, light foot that way she generates less noise while sprinting even though she does have max stealth like so she's not gonna be heard a whole lot even if um, even without light foot on but with light foot on she'll be even less likely to generate a noise and Night Owl again, just because her composure is pretty garbage. And I like running with some darkness or fear resistance from the dark. Um, again, Lightfoot. You could change that up for something else. Um, maybe go with another composure perk. Um, put a map on her maybe. Um, but... I feel like this works best for the way I play anyway. I don't know how all of you guys play, but this is just how it works for me. And this is all my opinion. So if you have any other thoughts, just throw them in the comments. Now, Kenny, I don't really use Kenny a whole lot. But when I do, I always see him hurt. So I figure medic would be a good one. That way you get two uses from each medical spray and it increases your healing. So that's why I chose medic. Um... Like I said, I really don't use them, but whenever I see people use them, they're always hurt. Uh, spatial awareness, that way, you know, he doesn't stumble a whole lot, because I see that as well. I always see him stumbling, especially when he's hurt, so just kind of help out with that. And then Marathon, just give him a little more stamina, like everybody else, you know. Never hurts to have too much stamina, especially if you're trying to get away from Jason. Jenny Myers, I kind of went all out with some... Trying to make her as stealthy as possible. Um, marathon, you know, she stamina's five out of ten. That's all right, but you know, give her, give her a little more, right? Can never have too much, like I said. Uh, and I go low profile and homebody, and these two will stack because low profile is, you know, faster moving across and a chance to avoid Jason's sensibility. So when you're crouched you have you know better chance to avoid the sense and then homebody is less chance of being detected by Jason sensibility when inside so if you're crouched inside those basically stack up and you're probably not going to be seen by Jason unless he gets really lucky and on to Chad Kensington uh, definitely he's marathon like he's, he's got great speed but his stamina is pretty bad so I figured marathon is the best way to go for at least one perk and then I go with low profile. He's got pretty good stealth, but low profile, low profile gives him a little bit better, especially against Jason's sensibility. 
And then I go with Night Owl. That way he has some fear resistance to the dark since he doesn't have a whole lot of composure. Kind of helps out with that. Uh, he doesn't scream a whole lot whenever uh, Jason turns out the light or doesn't scream as much, I should say. All right, uh, AJ, uh, one of my personal favorites as of right now. I've been using her a lot lately. Uh, use spatial awareness marathon on low profile. That way, spatial awareness, you know, so she doesn't trip as much. Because um, she does tend to trip a little bit. So that kind of helps, especially when Jason is chasing her, she's scared, she, she trips a lot more. So spatial awareness just, you know, keeps her from tripping as much. Uh, marathon, obviously just give her a little more stamina since she doesn't have all that great stamina, 4 out of 10, it's not the best. Definitely needs a little more stamina. So give her Marathon, let her go, jog a little farther, and with this on, I tend to jog quite a long way. Um, depending on what your rolls are for it. Like, I have a rare one and get, like, what is it, 6% more? Uh, doesn't seem like a lot, but she definitely jogs quite a bit farther than without it. And then low profile, because, you know, 10 out of 10 stealth, so when you crouch, you definitely probably won't get seen by Jason. Um, had this on in a, in a gameplay that I posted up in one of the videos that's on my channel where Jason's right behind me. I call Tommy Jarvis. I get out of there. And then I run all the way down to the barn from where the Stillwater. And then I get into the bushes. I crouch and start walking back away. And Jason just walks on by, doesn't see me at all, and I escape. So definitely good to use on AJ if you like being stealthy. Because, I mean, who doesn't, right? Uh, on the Bugsy. Now, Bugsy. You can go either way. Um, I try to play with him stealthily since, you know, he's got great stamina, speed, and strength. So I try and play stealthy with him, give him a home body so he's got less chance of being detected while indoors and low profile where, uh, you know, faster movement speed and crouch and less chance to avoid his sensibility. So when I'm indoors and crouch, you know, it stacks. So it's even better chance to avoid the sense. And then ice cold, you can switch up with practically anything you want um in my opinion because you know i don't know to be honest like you could go map you know you could try lightfoot um if you want i haven't seen much difference with the louder characters with it i, mean, I, I just go ice cold that way because you're always running around normally with bugsy so you see a body you don't freak out as much you don't stop and stare at it as long um, which is why I use Ice Cold, and it seems to be re working really well. And on to Eric LaChapa. Don't use him a whole lot. I've used him a couple times. I got away. Um, but I just, I just don't use him a lot because of the fact that his stamina is pretty garbage. But he, he is a good character. Um, at least when I've used him, I've done good with him. With, and I use Ice Cold, Night Out, and Marathon. Definitely need Marathon with this man. It's, Garbage stamina, 2 out of 10, that's not good at all. Uh, Night Owl just gives him a little more fear resistance whenever, you know, Jason shuts off the lights or he's in the dark, stuff like that. He doesn't freak out as much when Jason cuts out the lights. And then, low profile, obviously. You know, he's got 8 out of 10 stuff, but still, who doesn't like an extra percentage to um, avoid Jason's sense? I sure do. And I'm pretty sure everybody else does as well, if they play stealthily. Because there are some people who just, you know, run around, collect parts, take them to the cars, drop them off, stuff like that. I've definitely seen that been done. Um, but that's just how I like to roll the perks with La Chapa. And on to Adam, which I think is the last one. Yep, Adam, last one. I try and go stealthily for him as well. Um, since he doesn't have a whole lot of stealth, but he does have good composure, good repair, pretty good. He's got some alright speed. Um, but I go with Homebody. Low profile and marathon, that way, you know, homebody, obviously, less chance of being detected indoors. And then when it's stacked with low profile, when he's um, crouched, he has even better chance to avoid the sense when indoors. So, and then just go with marathon, that way, he has a little more stamina to him, run a little farther, stuff like that. Which, like I say, you can never go wrong with having too much stamina or being too stealthy, right? It's just, it's not possible. Oh, not possible. Wow, I keep getting my words tongue twisted today. But 
I hope you enjoyed this updated video. Um, if you have any, um, what is it, suggestions, which you want me to try running, just leave it in the comments below. I'll definitely try it out. Um, if it's really good, if I really enjoy playing with it, I'll make another video or mention it in um, a video. And as you'll notice, I'm not running a map on any of these characters at all. Look, none. Look at this. No maps at all. The reason for this is because, honestly, the map, or at least my map, it doesn't really give me really anything good. Like, it's got a minus and a negative to it, but it's the exact same minus and negative. Oh my god, this thing don't cut out. But, like I was saying, not been using a map. This is really annoying. Dude. Okay, sorry about that. Freaking laptop's blowing up for some reason. Okay. Like I was saying, don't use a map anymore. Because I feel like I can get better use out of a third perk than I can with a map. And I may not find one till sometime into the game. But if I'm around a little place on the map, you can normally get a map from somewhere. Or I'll either get it from, like, two or three houses I go into at the very beginning. As long as Jason doesn't, you know, spawn on me right away. Which has been working pretty good. So, if you enjoyed this updated video for the best perks for all counselors, please do leave a like, comment. You can also follow me on Twitter. Link for that is going to be in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for all the support recently. Gone from 10 subscribers to, was it, 73 now, I believe, in the past, what is it, week maybe? Definitely been skyrocketing. So, if you enjoyed the video, please do make sure to subscribe. Get us up to that 100 within the next few days, hopefully. And I'll see you in the next video.